different parts of the world have a different name for just about everything. And uh, we've discovered over the years that roofers are extremely creative in how they uh, describe things on a roof uh, from one suburb to the next even. So in our software we have uh, default settings for uh, the style of a line and uh, the colour of a line at the general appearance of features and uh, in addition to that uh, the names that uh, are used to describe each of the features on the roof. Now these can be defined by you to suit the way you wish to work and this is done under setup, system preferences and down the bottom we have uh, three buttons, one for defining uh, wall plane options, roof plane options and roof line options. So let's look at the roof line options button first. Unlike other CAD programs, in our program we can define the colour individually of any entity. There are 256 colour numbers and any colour can be um, any colour number. We can also define a range of different uh, line styles and uh, depending on your requirement. Um, we have 15 user defined, uh, so regular defined styles but you can define anything else at all, don't go there. But uh, uh, the line style determines how the line appears on the job. We can also define the line weight, that is to say the thickness of the line uh, when it plots. Um, this actually uh, matches the uh, series of drafting pens that most people have used over the years. So 0.5 indicating is 0.5 of a millimetre. You have a tremendous amount of flexibility in how the lines appear. And in our experience, a slightly fatter line will uh, be representing a feature on a roof is a whole lot better than a, a really skinny gutted line. In addition to the colour, style and weight, uh, you can also describe uh, each of the features on the roof using your local uh, terminology. Uh, for example, I'm aware some parts of North America, uh, what we call an apron, uh, they call a roof to wall. Now if that's what you want to call it, you simply type in there roof to wall. It's um, known by us as an apron, but everywhere in the software now uh, it will be known as roof to wall. Uh, programming wise, it's still an apron, but the description everywhere else will be roof to wall. Uh, this will be colour number 11 so that it stands out, and it's a line style of zero, which is a a solid line and line weight is 0.35 as that seems to stand out just about right for most features. Um, you also have four user defined line styles for you to create anything extra over and above uh, what we would normally use. Once you've made those changes you simply hit apply and then the software will then use those uh, descriptions. So if for example get out of here and go over here to change the line style uh, ignore all those and I now have where it used to say apron I now have roof to wall so if this was butting up to a, a wall around here I can make that line and that line roof to wall flashing and it's now roof to wall flashing also known as apron and this uh, brackets one indicates it's story number one. In the same way that we control line styles we can also uh, control plane styles. Now the, the solid fill that I'm using here is referred to as a plane style filled but we also have a plane style hatched and if I apply that you'll see we get hatched lines. Now when you start applying materials to the roof, the hatched lines uh, can become rather confusing as that does seem to indicate a roof panel, but in fact it's not, it's just simply a CAD term of, of hatching. So uh, we, we prefer to use filled and when we apply that uh, it's clear that there's a roof plane in that area and we set the colours uh, to give it a, a very easy representation of whether we have a, a metal roof or a tile roof and uh, if you've got a combination of both on a roof it's easy to see. 
So set the software up to suit the way you wish to work. Don't forget to select OK. If you select the, uh, the close button, it just closes and uh, nothing is saved. So we've now uh, set our line styles and our line names and we've now set our plane options. We hit OK and that will then be the way all our lines are, and planes are represented for uh, all future work. Have fun with that and uh, if there's anything else you need, don't forget to come back to the AppliCAD channel and see uh, what we've done lately and what more you can learn to get uh, value from our software.